Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this series of videos we're going to be looking at sanding techniques for various ways of finishing your wood and resin projects. Getting the final finish between your wood and resin can be quite tricky and there are various ways that we can approach this. In this video I'll be showing you how to... Helicopter. Thanks helicopter. In this video I'll be showing you how to sand and apply an Osmo finish but this can easily be transferred to Oddies or Rubio 2. So this is a tabletop I made about three years ago. Um, it's a showpiece and over the, over the years it's got a little bit scratched up so uh, it needs to be refinished in time for an upcoming show. Originally it was finished by polishing the resin and Oddies oil on the wood but uh, after a few years the Oddies has gone off a little bit although a good finish it's gone off a little bit so this time I've decided to go down the Osmo route just to show you guys how to apply and get a good finish with the product. So let's jump straight in then. Now your sander of choice doesn't really matter. Uh, that doesn't really make much difference. Uh, you can get a, just as good a finish using a, uh, a cheaper sander than you can using the really really expensive ones. Where it does make a difference is your choice of sanding pad and technique. Use the best sanding pads that you can buy and preferably mesh ones uh, and these these ones are 3M Cubitron Extract and they are excellent sanding pads. Moving on to the actual sanding piece, I'll be starting straight off at 320 on this piece because that's all we need to go to to apply the, the Osmo oil. Usually, um, if it's come straight out of the mould, you'll be starting at 100 or so and working your way up through the grits. But the technique and the sanding process is the same nonetheless. So, and this is the really important bit, Sand it on its fastest setting and a continuous movement over the whole piece. Don't rush or stay in the same place too long and you're not applying any force. Let the sander and pads do the work. Too much pressure will result in divots and an uneven surface. we've gone over the whole piece and got a nice even look to it what we need to do is wipe every now and again just to see if we've got all the scratches out and I can see a couple of places that we need to go over again but remember um, sanding through the grits is essentially putting tinier scratches in smaller scratches in to get rid of the big ones so checking and looking to see where you need to sand any more We'll just come with experience and I can see we've got a, bit, a little bit here and a little bit there that we'll just go over just a little bit more but when we do we need to go over the whole piece again we'll move on to the bottom bit in a minute we just need to go over the whole bit as well to avoid staying in one place too long to make it uneven a soft dry cloth like this one this one's a one for cleaning a car nice and soft dry cloth just give it a wipe over every now and again and between grits to check whether or not you've got all the scratches out so now we have it sanded to a point where we're happy with we can move on to the applying the Osmo oil now using a non abrasive pad and this is very important to use a non abrasive pad don't use a scotch pad or anything like that you will just put more scratches in it and it will look rubbish Osmo do these pads themselves or you can just buy them off eBay or Amazon they do the same job but just make sure that they are non abrasive I can't stress that enough 
So using your orbital sander on its lowest or very small setting, pull a little bit in one, little bit in one place and buff it in slowly. Remember, a little bit goes a long way, so putting too much on would just make it look rubbish. Using the same technique as before, constantly moving the orbital over the whole piece until you've got it buffed in. Wait for it to go off a little bit and using a new clean pad, you can turn it over, use the other side, go over the whole thing again on a slow setting. Then you should have a lovely looking piece. So let's do that now. Looks like my sanders coming to the end of its life. That was not good. Nikita has given up the ghost. I was going to use this one to carry on uh, for using for applying Osmo in the future because I knew it was coming to the end of its life, but I didn't quite know that it was nearly dead. RIP Makita, you've been a good sander. So, as you saw, I had to change to the Mensa one there. Like I said, it doesn't really matter which one you use, the settings are the most important. Um, so nice and slow, just moving it around, buffing it in nice and slowly and now what we're going to do is wait 10-15 uh, minutes or so and we're going to use the other side of the pad because you can see the pad gets quite dirty. Uh, we're going to use the other clean side of the pad to buff out uh, in about 10-15 minutes and then we should be done. But So 10-15 minutes later now then let's just go over the whole thing with the clean, clean side, we can go a little bit faster this time if you if you want to don't have to there we are then that's given us quite a nice sheen on there now so what you want to do after that is set your piece out in a warm dry environment wait at least 24 hours for it to dry uh, completely dry before touching it again um, longer if possible. Osmo will actually uh, take weeks to go off uh, properly so avoid touching it if you can for, uh, with bare skin for as long as possible. Oils on your skin will react and you'll get marks on it. I know it's, uh, it's tempting to stick your, oh, you can stick your hand on it and that but just leave it alone. That's it for me now. I'll be doing more of these videos. Hopefully we'll do a polishing one next. Just to quickly say the, I've obviously edited the sanding and the uh, Osmo application down. The sanding itself, just on one grit, was just under half an hour. So that will give you some idea of how long you need to spend on each grit to get the best possible finish. The Osmo application itself is actually really, really easy. That's the shortest time period, but make sure you prep first and it will, will go on like lovely. But for now, thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time. Thanks very much. Bye.